Hey all, it's David Ducker coming back at you. And today I'm going to be talking about outsiders versus insiders. So these are two different types of characters you can bring into the game. Uh, you know, there's only two kind of people in the world. Outside and inside, and that's it, baby. Uh, so you can, you can define it as there's only these two types. But everybody's going to have more aspects of their personality. But what I'm talking about is, is your character from where he is now, or is he from somewhere else? Is he a foreigner? Is he a stranger in a strange land? Or is he an expert? Does he know the local customs? Does he know what's going on? So, uh, these are two different kinds of characters you can bring in as your player character. This is a video for players, not for GMs. So, do you want to study the world to, you know, whether that's reading the campaign setting or talking to the GM or whether that's, uh, you know, taking it on, on yourself and building the local area yourself and your backstory, uh, you know, and, and the, some GMs, you can do that and that's cool. So, you know, are you the guy who's going to expose it for the GM. So if we're walking through Nuln, and uh, as a player, you say, you know, oh, we're in Nuln, so I want to purchase a musket because Nuln is well known for its dwarven gunsmiths. Or I'm going to uh, go to the Three Crowns uh, Tavern. It's a famous tavern known throughout the world. You know, are you as a player just going to come up with that on the fly? Uh, or will you have done that research to know about that beforehand? That would be the insider. If you say, oh, there's a priestess of Shalia, and, you know, if, if you get disease, you know, she can, she can heal you. So if you get some kind of infection while you're at the, uh, while you're at the Three Crowns, you know, at the, the saloon there, uh, go, go talk to Shalia and she, she'll sort you out. Or, you know, are you walking by and you see a, an abused, debased shrine of Renald and, and you spit on it and you say, Oh, Renald is the god of thieves. And it is, it is only right that his shrine be, be debased and, and graffitoed. You know, are you the guy who knows what's going on? You're from the area. So that's the insider. Now the outsider is someone who's not from the local area. And he's walking through and he says, Why is a shrine of a... Why has that holy shrine been de defaced and and uh, look, part of the the, fa the nose of the statue has been broken off. It's literally been defaced and there's graffiti on it. Like, who, who, what god is it that, that tolerates this kind of punishment, this kind of disrespect? And uh, the other characters can say, oh, oh that's just Renald. Uh, don't worry about that. Renald is, is uh, looked down upon by all the other de deities for he stole his divinity. And the other character can be like, Stole his How do you steal divinity? I, I want to steal some divinity. And, uh, so the outsider is going to be asking questions, and that's awesome. So the outsider, you can get in so many great role-playing scenes uh, that educate you, and then you get to question the society. So as a GM, uh, you know you should love the the outsider because he'll be talking to everybody. Uh, or he'll just be blundering around, uh, which spins out plots. So that's good, too. So the outsider is a really great character. And uh, by playing an outsider, you don't have to do that legwork and that research. You don't have to read the campaign guide about Nuln. Uh, and you don't have to read the you know deities and demigods guide about, uh, about Shalia and Renald. You can just show up. And have your character say, I'm not from here. I don't know anything. So so my education is going to be part of my character cycle. I'm really going to earn these experience points. Believe that with your mind. Uh, you know, I'm going to be getting, getting points in, into knowledge uh, local. And, and knowledge history and religion. All my knowledge skills, I'm going to be buffing those up. Because the ones I have don't apply to this area. I might have a lot of... Uh, information about my home but that's a thousand miles away I, I came here in a caravan or I was teleported here by accident or whatever so those are two types of uh, characters you can play the guy who knows everything 
uh, and, and can exposit on that. And that can be great for a GM or it can be hard. Uh, you know, for, for me, like I'm running Warhammer right now, but I, I am taking some liberties with the setting. So in the book, uh, there's a Dwarven gunnery school in Gnome. But uh, in my setting, uh, we're not using firearms. So there isn't. So the book, if somebody comes in having read that, they're, as an insider, they're actually going to be on the wrong foot, on the wrong track. Uh, and when I'm portraying Shalia, for example, uh, she is the goddess of uh, peace and mercy. And I have made her the goddess of pacifism in my version of Warhammer. So she will not heal anyone who's injured in battle, trying to do violence, even in self-defense. She, she doesn't even condone self-defense. So uh, reading the book, the uh, I think it's Sigmar's Heirs, might be a different book, but reading the religious book about Shalia, um, you wouldn't learn that because it's homebrew. So if you're playing insider, uh, Cleric of Shalia, we're going to have, uh, you know, slight problems. It's not a big problem, uh, usually, but it, it could be. And that, that kind of thing can be explained as well. Uh, for example, Scotty just came in as a priest of Shalia, and uh, he had done some research on the religious tenets. But my version is different anyway. So he came in, and he actually got into an argument with another priest. And they both are priests of Shalia. And uh, Scotty went to heal someone, and the other priest said, Oh, no, you can't heal him. He got hurt in a fight. Scotty's like, Oh, that's okay. I'll heal him. I'll heal anybody. Shalia forgives all. And the other priest is like, oh, No, 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 you can't do that. And, uh, and what we turned it into, like an actual religious schism, like, Scotty's particular sect of Shalia is, is fine with healing anyone, even people who have done violence. And uh, so that's going to be a plot point. It's going to be awesome. You know, so it, it, it actually ended up making the campaign better, uh, that he is uh, almost an inside-outsider, the, the outside-insider, perhaps. But... Uh, so, so that illustrates that there are different shades and different, you know, you don't have to be pure inside or pure outside. You're not going to know everything. Uh, but in general, those are the two ways it could swing. And they're both great. One, one can help the GM a lot. Uh, and the other can, can be so much more fun to play uh, as a player. And that will also depend on what kind of player you are and what kind of GM uh, you're working with. Uh, but I just wanted to, to shout out to those two concepts uh, because it's, it's a really good way of thinking about the character. So let me know if you like playing the outsider, if you like playing the insider, if you like playing uh, the inside-outsider. If you've seen it done really well, if you've seen it done poorly, you know, leave that in the comments below. But uh, I just sign out. I wish you all a good day and good game.